there are multiple challenges. So the question over the sort of medium and long term, I still think there's the investment challenge. Convincing financial institutions, convincing banks, World Bank, IMF, that it's worth funding oil and gas during a transition. And we really hear it from developing nations, particularly from Sub-Saharan Africa. They still struggle so deeply with the challenge of energy access. And they want to be able to use the resources in their ground, particularly natural gas, to provide electricity, clean cooking for their populations. And a concern that they don't have the resources to be able to get that resource to the people. Uh, currently, Zimbabwe is, is facing the impact of uh, climate change on our, on our, on our hydro uh, power uh, supply. Uh, so that clearly is a challenge that is, that is impacting on, the, on energy supply. Uh, when it comes to the uh, coal sector, uh, th that is uh, expanding nicely. But again, we see obviously constrained credit markets to support uh, investment in the coal sector. Where we have a, a, a real opportunity is investment in the renewable energy space, in, in the solar sector, where the government are doing everything to, to offer the market incentives, investors incentives, uh, be they you know, economic tariffs, we have a tariff of 16.88 cents per kilowatt hour, which is a good tariff, uh, but also we're offering a, a government you know, guarantees to investors who are investing their money in, in the country and offer them uh, access to foreign currency and currency convertibility. So we believe we have the right incentive structure to uh, support renewable energy investors, especially in the solar sector. This is something that needs to uh, have a multi-pronged approach. Um, Saudi Arabia is doing this beautifully. Uh, they're not just looking at uh, solar energy, for example, which is an obvious one for this region, but they're looking at decarbonizing their upstream sector. Uh, they are looking at increasing efficiency. So they're really taking a multi-pronged approach to this, and this is an example, uh, a leading example, which other countries have to look for.